Hi, welcome to Simp Scuba. This is the Apex XTX50 uh, regulator pack with an XTX50 Octopus as well. Obviously, it's a much more affordable way to get into Apex regulators and also they're um, pretty much the specification for cold water regulators. So in the package, you have a DST first stage, which is obviously, again, cold water rated, very high specification with a, a diaphragm um, design. It's balanced as well, so you get the same performance at any depth and any center of pressure. Environmentally sealed, so you've got great cold water protection. You've got also got contamination protection as well. It does prevent the cold water interacting with the parts inside, which obviously can lead to free flow. Available DIN, 300 bar, and also A clamp, which is obviously 232 bar. First stage is fitted with four low pressure ports, two in either side of the swiveling turret at the top. We've also got two high pressure ports, one on either side. So a nice convenient hose routing configuration. And just on the bottom here, you can see the environmental seal for the diaphragm. Nice compact size, nice small barrel, so it doesn't get in the way of anything. It can obviously be fisted either way up, depending on how you want to route your hoses. The regulator is supplied with uh, braided hoses, both hoses. Obviously, the primary one is a shorter black hose. And obviously, the octopus is a slightly longer, yellow coloured hose just for visibility and also gives you that extra reach as well. Braided hoses are safer than rubber hoses and don't uh, perish like rubber ones do so the sun doesn't deteriorate and the salt doesn't deteriorate them. Uh, they have a higher burst pressure, more flexible, lighter, so there's a lot more advantages to having the braided hoses over the rubber which is obviously why Apex has switched over. The second stages are pretty much identical, both being XTX50s. Obviously the differences are the yellow trim for uh, visibility purposes, so you've got a yellow trim front cover, venturi switch on the side and also an inlet on the other side. I'll just talk about the primary because the two are exactly the same. XTX50 is a mid-range uh, regulator comes fitted with a wide exhaust valve, but does have a detachable and replaceable uh, smaller, more compact uh, exhaust cover, which just helps prevent snags if anyone just does prefer the smaller covers. Very simple operation, it just push the button, two pieces slide off, slide the new ones on, it clicks together. Really, really simple to change. Fully balanced. Uh, system, so again it's providing good performance at all depths, energy cylinder pressure, you don't get any reduction in pressure. Designed for cold water use and uh, can be used in obviously strong currents as well. It does have the parts inside uh, covered up by a, almost like a, a plate which prevents uh, current flowing in through the front cover and pushing on a diaphragm which can also lead it to uh, free flow. More advances uh, and more features, so it's uh, help with cold water protection. Got a heat sink on the inlet of the, of the air supply, and also got a metal barrel which runs all the way through the, the second stage, which also helps dissipate the cold that's generated. So great for cold water use. It is interchangeable, so uh, the technician can swap the hose routing, so if you want a left-handed um, second stage instead, it's a very simple operation for a technician to do, it shouldn't take very long at all. Literally swap it round, make the configuration changes inside and put it back together and it's a uh, left handed. On this side we've got Venturi switch, so that just controls the flow of air inside the second stage housing. So you can either have it going direct to the mouthpiece uh, for optimal flow or you can have it directed back towards the diaphragm which is helping to prevent free flowing. Also got inhalation adjustment. So wound all the way out, was optimal position, best flow, uh, obviously you're getting the least uh, breathing resistance as well. If you start to wind it in, you increase the tension on the springs inside and it makes it a little bit harder to, to breathe in. You have to have it suck in a little bit more. And again, it's there just so you can fine tune your second stage. It also gives you a bit more uh, protection if you're using a redundant one, especially for the octopus. Um, which obviously has the inhalation adjustment as well. You can wind it in a little bit to make it that little bit harder to, to open the valve. So if you're not using it, it gives it a bit of a fail safe. But obviously when it's not in use, 
it is best practice to have it wound out because it doesn't artificially reshape the spring. So overall, a nice uh, compact size of the second stage, not too heavy in the mouth, doesn't give you jaw fatigue uh, if used for too long. Mouthpiece uh, on the primary one is slightly different to the second stage one. The primary one has a bridge across the top of the mouthpiece. It basically just sits at the top of the pallet and uh, the air comes in through the mouthpiece and is passes underneath this little bridge. It just helps prevent your mouth from drying out too much. Antibacterial mouthpieces as well, so uh, just helps the spread of viruses and things like that. Keeps them nice and clean as long as possible. Nice soft silicone, rounded edges, so there's no irritation there. And good bite grips on the mouthpiece as well. So if you're looking for a cold water regulator with lots of uh, features on, you certainly can't go wrong with the Apex XCX50 package.